I've been writing songs about 10 years. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what started me was that one, that one guitar. <laughs> like, uh, what is that? Uh, Bad Company or? Uh, uh -oh. Foreigner. <laughs> Foreigner, it's Foreigner. Jukebox Hero. Jukebox Hero. That's all we're gonna sing on that. We're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> Foreigner, not bad company. Close though. Close. It's okay. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me and this guy. My guest today. It's almost an enigma on social media. I, I couldn't find a whole lot on him. Uh, we met at the Homegrown Songwriter Showcase inside the Artisan Hotel before it moved over to the Strat, uh, run by Hal Savar. And um, all I know much is all I know about you is you're a fan of yoga, whole body health, sports fan, and Bob Ross enthusiast. Where, so, where'd you do this research at? <laughs> the little bit you posted. So. Please welcome to the channel and stick around because he's going to be performing six songs, I think, after uh, after we do this. Uh, please welcome to the channel, Quinn Turner. Say hi. Hi, everybody. My name's Quinn Turner, local songwriter, born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. And, uh, yeah, Bob Ross, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I, I guess I like Bob Ross. <laughs> Great interview, thanks. So, see you next <laughs> Uh yeah, no, based, based on, you know, your, your limited posting online and stuff. I do watch Bob Ross to go to sleep Who does? a lot. I, it's um, because you actually subscribe to the Bob Ross YouTube channel. Yes. That's, yes. There's a Bob Ross YouTube channel, by the way. If you yeah. know anything about Bob Ross, that's exciting. Even though it's not really him, there's a school of Bob Ross painting. Where you can get certified. Yeah. And that's yeah. what they're, yeah. But I was, I was all excited. I was like, Bob Ross has a YouTube channel? Yeah, I mean, it's not him, but it is people who paint like him, so, and have the same calm demeanor. Happy little trees. So it's, yeah, yeah it's a Bob, a whole school vibe, you have to do the demeanor along with the, right. you have to say the happy trees and all that. So, I want to talk real quick about, um, musical influences, what, your earliest musical influence. What is it that started you thinking, hey, I want to, you know, start writing music, I want to, I want to go down that path? Uh, I got a, <clears throat> we were cleaning out my grandpa's house after he passed away when I was about, uh, 14, 15, and I found a guitar in there, and my grandpa didn't play guitar that I know of, mm -hmm. but it was an old beat up acoustic guitar, and I was like, I'm going to take this, I'm going to, I was like, I want to learn how to play guitar, so I took it, and I put some strings on it, and started learning some chords, and and then my dad got me an electric uh, silver tone, and and I learned some chords from uh, Rock the House Method DVDs, <laughs> and um, you just did that it was, yourself. <laughs> that was it. I mostly did it myself, and uh, I didn't have a whole lot of music in my family. I had to learn from scratch. I wasn't a savant by any means. I just learned chords, and and then eventually later started writing songs when I was 20, 21. Uh, I'm 30 now, so. I've been writing songs about 10 years, and uh, yeah, that's that's what started me, was that one, that one guitar. <laughs> like, uh, what is that, uh, Bad Company or? Uh, uh -oh. Foreigner. <laughs> foreigner, it's Foreigner. Jukebox Hero. Jukebox Hero. That's all we're gonna sing on that. We're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> Foreigner, not bad company. Close though. Close. It's okay. Um, some of my viewers. I don't love even bad know who company those are. and foreigner. So some of the viewers don't even know who that is. Um, so from that's your earliest musical post. That's a really cool story, actually. I like that. Um, Thank you. I wanted to talk about what's your what's your current musical influence? What is it you listen to now when you want to like? Get jazzed up. You want to make some music yourself. What gets you in the mood to, to make music? It's funny you say jazzed up. Dave Matthews Band. I listen to a lot of Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> Seriously. Um, 
Dave Matthews Band. Like uh, I still listen to '90s alternative. I listen to um, I listen to a lot of classic rock. I don't listen to a lot of newer stuff. Uh, and not that I hate it or anything. I just don't. I just I feel the old stuff, and I I love the old stuff, and right. so I listen to. Um, I go up from about I go from the Beatles to uh, to um, John Mayer. That's probably John Mayer's the newest artist that I listen to frequently. So, um, yeah, that's uh, when I want to get jazzed up. It's Dave Matthews Band for sure. Well, I mean, but, when it comes to <laughs> but uh, you know, John Mayer's no slouch. That's for sure. John Mayer can jazz it up too. I didn't realize he had a blues trio until you know I, I saw a music yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Where is? Why isn't this all over the place? These guys are amazing." Yeah, he did a little uh, a little stint with a blues trio yeah, well, when he wanted to reinvent himself. He didn't want to be sensitive songwriter guy anymore. He didn't want to be the penny dropping guy words, anymore. <laughs> yeah. In his words, he was like, "I don't want to get pigeonholed as sensitive songwriter guy." So he. Yeah, because so that's he, uh, that's going so bad for you. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how artists can get. They don't. No, they don't want to no. be pigeonholed. A lot of them, they mm. they don't want to sell out or be pigeonholed. So they're like, well, I gotta reinvent myself. Right. John Mayer is really good at reinventing himself. Yeah, kind of like a Bob Dylan or. A, <clears throat> it's like, well, you think you know me? Now I'm gonna play electric guitar and get booed. <clears throat> yeah, and he didn't care in the least. <laughs> so, um, that's it. That's Bob Dylan, by the way. We're talking about for the for the youngins. Uh, Read your history. So, how long have you lived in Vegas? Uh, well, I was born in 91, so I, I'm from here originally. There you go, um, thank you. <laughs> so, 30 plus years, and then uh, I was in the Air Force for 10 years, actually. Yes, you were a mechanic. So, um, yeah, I was a vehicle mechanic in the Air Force yeah. for about 10 years. <clears throat> well... Um, and I moved around a little and then came back here for the last five and a half years of my Air Force career. Yeah. I, uh, as, as someone who's had family in the military, uh, I do thank you for your service sincerely. Um, thank you for that. No worries. I, I, I know that's that can be a touchy thing for some, some it, vets. It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I do, I do mean it. Um, I was wondering what... You've done busking on the Strip or down at Fremont, right? <laughs> A few times. The first time I did it was 2014, and they were a lot easier on busking yeah. down there. And now, from what I'm reading, it's it's not it's welcome anymore. Union, yeah. So, um, but I did uh, last week. I went down, or a couple weeks ago, I went down there a couple times, and um, on Fremont, on uh, on the Strip. Oh, right on. And I I went down there for about an hour each time on a weekday. So. Uh, I made a dollar each time, so I made two dollars in two hours, and I. But I had a great time. I really did. Like I love. I just love performing. I love being out there. I was looking at the Treasure Island, and I was like, the wind was blowing in my face like 50 miles an hour a couple weeks ago. It was really blowing, and I was like, you, you know what? That. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, yeah. The dust was blowing in my guitar case and everything, and. Um, but I didn't get kicked out, thankfully, and uh, and I was just like, you know what? This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. Like this is the these are the trials and tribulations that a lot of artists have to go through, and I I'm okay with it. Well, that actually leads me to another question. Um, first of all, you've only performed solo, or have you ever been like part of a project or a band or anything? I've performed. I've uh, played with a few guys here and there, but I've never been part of a band. No. Okay, so then as far as like gigs per se there isn't a, a big long list of those now i've done a few little things at uh, dive bars mm -hmm. and uh in korea i played i used to take my guitar down the street and right outside the base at osan air force base there's a um there's a, a district a bar district with like 80 bars stacked on top of each other all the way down the street it, yeah. it's called Songtan uh entertainment district and uh, I'd go down there with my guitar and just play for people or just go to bars and play. Yeah. And they all loved it. And um, Really nice people in Korea, by the way. Uh, all the way they, from Las they, Vegas. They, um, 
Yeah, I mean, that was like 2013, so that was when I first, I only knew a few chords, and I, I wasn't, I, I wrote a few songs, but I wasn't really writing a lot, mm -hmm. so, um, but it was fun, and that's where I started kind of feeling out the crowds and learning how to do that, but, um, right. and then I performed at a few dive bars when I got back to Vegas in 2014, but um, do, is there a, I haven't had a whole lot of big paying gigs or anything. Sorry to cut you off. Is there a favorite show memory you have? Either a favorite because like, oh my god, that was crazy, or that checked off a thing on my rock star list, or you know, somebody went to jail, or you know, something, some favorite show memory? Um, I played on a stage uh, on on Osan Air Base with uh, that was the most people I ever played for. They were doing like a, a, a charity thing, like a run or something, out on a, a track, and they had a big stage set up, a, like a legitimate stage. Right. That was like the first time I played on a big stage. It's just me and this other guy. Uh, I think we called ourselves two guys and a and uh, two guys one band or something ridiculous, <laughs> and we walked up there and started playing. And most of the people weren't really paying attention, but there were probably 500 people out there. So that was the first uh, big thing that I did. Uh, we didn't get paid for it. It was just like this Exclusion. charity thing they were doing. And, um, and there, there were these big like uh, uh, mascot uh, bears, like a big pink bear dancing around. And, okay. And so I'm on stage. So I, it it was, took me a minute to get to where you were saying like, like a big Lotso. The dancing bear. bears? And you yeah. said pink bears. So okay. Big dancing Lotso bear. And that was the biggest thing I ever did. Didn't get paid, but it was right. fun. Oh, man. That's that's awesome. I mean, not many people, though, can, can say that. Anything you just said can say what you just said as a, as a gig memory. Playing uh, yeah, yeah. Playing uh, next to pink bear. Ex except that one guy that I played <laughs> yeah, with. Yeah, except that one guy. Uh, What's his name? you remember? I believe it was Dustin Tollison. Shut up! <laughs> um, yeah, if he ever what are they, comes yeah. across this, uh, maybe. Hey, hit us up in the comments, Dustin, if, or if you know Dustin, um, let, let, let's, let's stalk him. No, just kidding. So, I wanted to talk uh, gear. Now, aside from your guitar, any other gear, like P8 pedals or any of that stuff? Um, I what? use a loop pedal. Okay. A little bit. But no, I'm not a... I'm not a big shredder guy. I'm not a right. big. Uh, I feel like my writing is my strength. I really love the writing and the wordplay and mm -hmm. crafting uh, lyrics and the uh, emotion that I can get out in my songs through my lyrics and right. and what I need to feel and what I need to learn kind of comes out. So um, in terms so. of your guitar, what are you rocking right now? I, I didn't <clears throat> notice what what brand it was. That uh, acoustic is a. It's a cheaper Takamini, but Takamini's a good brand. Yeah. Nice um, well-rounded sound. It's uh, I forget a G one or something Takamini, okay. and then there's a um, I got a Gretsch Streamliner, Ooh. and that's the one I usually play at the at the showcases and stuff, the open mics and all that. I was gonna that. say this, I didn't think this was the same guitar. No, I was playing an electric at all so the other ones. Out, so. He brings out the show pony for the the showcases. That's a, that's a good songwriter. Um, electric it's not like a not necessarily a shredder guitar it's a songwriter guitar it's light it's a semi hollow body a guitar's got to fit got to fit the, the oh, yeah. artist like a like a wand in harry potter or a every guitar, whatever you want to call it it's got to fit it's got to be an extension of you every guitar i own uh pretty much i i tried it i tried many 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 i came back to it and then i bought it and i that's what you got to do yeah you know, have you named them? Not yet. No, I haven't gone that far. <laughs> I, I have, but then I forgot. I forgot the names because I went. I went a while. I, 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 I had a dry spell, not touching my instruments. And then, I, then I started a YouTube channel, <laughs> and now I edit. That's what my free time is. But I, I purposely made merch like this to remind myself: turn around and go play with the stuff you have that you see on all the videos. You know, and, and I do. Um, it's, <clears throat> speaking of which, if you want some merch, shameless plug, um, room six dot shop, I've got hats, I've got shirts, I've got mugs, I've got all sorts of stuff, various sayings, or just room six branded, it all helps the scene because the money I make from that, and, uh, Patreon, and, uh, any album sales of my own albums, all goes towards just putting on my own showcases of room six alumni, such as yourself, where I pay them to play. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. In fact, uh, I have big, big news coming up soon. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Ring the bell. Uh, coming up here soon, in, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be making a big announcement of, of something along those lines. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm just trying to nail down some, some things and some people, yada, yada. Um, getting back to your two guys, one band or whatever, I actually also on the Patreon page have some patron-only content that is called Two Brains, One Bottle, where a former drummer of mine and a guy who's much more knowledgeable than I am about whiskey, he and I, Sean Flume, we, uh, we basically talk about some whiskeys that we're enjoying at the moment. We talk about weird news and we talk about questions that people have submitted to us that they want answers. And it's, it's just a fun little podcast that we do, strictly audio, totally unfiltered, almost completely unedited by me. Like I, I, I fade it in and I fade it out and pretty much that's it. <laughs> and and it, it's just a nice hour long, whatever we want to talk about and, and whatever we want to say about things because it's Patreon. And if you're listening to it, you paid for it. And we're giving it to you. Um, little is a dollar a month. Shameless plug, over. But because I mentioned how I went a, a dry spill, I want to talk to you. You went four years between posting music videos. Oh, yeah. What happened there? Is that the military? Yeah, I was in a transition in, in my life. and I was still writing songs, but um, yeah, there was just a lot going on otherwise, and I didn't... Yeah. Um, I I'm working on the publicist thing anyway. Like, I'm I'm I just started to edit videos and yeah. learn how to do that stuff, and I just started to learn how to produce more and and record my own stuff. So I really wasn't putting out the the highest quality videos anyway. So I kind of took a break from that, and I was just writing songs and doing other stuff. But now I'm now I have some. A little better quality up there. I have some stuff that's edited with with uh, lyrics and um, music videos. I know. So uh, I put yeah. and I'll, I'll put a link in the description for his YouTube channel and all the other places, the the few places you can find him on social media. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm on uh, I'm on all the all the big ones. I know. Instagram, Facebook, but SoundCloud, uh, right. um, YouTube. I, I would like people to go to YouTube more often, but I know how... Me too! I know how that is, like, people yeah. like to have the quick fix and the quick videos and just... Well, you know, you, you, that's why I have a variety on the channel. Like, I have my hour-long interviews or whatever. This particular video is probably going to be a little less because it's just one person. It's not a band. But I also have some small, short things that are like five, six minutes. Because I, too, don't... You know, sometimes I want a long video. Especially yeah. if you're trying to doze up. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Some, uh, sometimes, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm on a little 10-minute break at work or whatever. I want to watch a thing. Yeah. Boom. Well, guess what? One more question. You made it. All right. Hey, hey. Um, we're going to talk to little Quinn. Okay? Basically, what we're doing is we're talking to new musicians. But what is something you wish someone had told you before you started thinking about doing music and trying to like actually make it a thing instead of just you know sitting around playing your grandpa's guitar oh yeah good question and don't say change your strings that guitarist always say change your strings um uh whether you have uh external support or not just just do what you love to do that's what um I would tell me as little Quinn and that's what I do tell little Quinn <laughs> I actually talk to little Quinn on the inside and I go you know what <laughs> this is a deeper kind of thing but you know I actually do that and um, do what you love to do mm -hmm. that's that's what I would tell anybody coming up in art or whatever don't let anybody say oh well that's hard or that's uh, that's too that's a that's a dream that's your head heads in the clouds um, do what you love to do no matter what and um, and do what you feel good about what makes you feel good when you get up every day and do it and um, thankfully I get to do that now I get up and I write songs and I play music and um, the the VA the VA uh, pays me pretty good so thankfully I have those resources so I can I can write songs and I can do what I love to do every day whether I'm making millions and I'm famous or you're just making a little and just getting by it's still 
great to do what you love to do. So that's what I would say. Here, here, and I, I, I too speak to little Josh. And just yesterday, had I had a once a week, the imposter syndrome kicks in, and the why am I, why am I doing all this? Yes, and, you and, have and to reassure and, it. And then I just your little child inside. Sometimes I literally take a step back and just say, "You make people happy with what you do." Yeah. Even if it's just making a video about their their show or whatever, and also, I, I've said it before on camera. I'm not whining. This is not a first world problem situation. I've gotten super busy with Rim 6 stuff all of a sudden because suddenly I have a whole bunch of work that I'm creating, which means, and I do all the editing and I do everything. So I have that, now I have that, that problem of, oh, I got to come up with, some, with something for a video. Now it's, I got to find the time for all the videos, for all yeah. the things I want to do. Well, that's a good problem to have because you're doing... You say you're, that. You're, well, <laughs> but when, when, when you're enjoying it, and yes. it's motivating you, it, then it's it would, not so hard to do Well, whatever it, you love to do. If, um, it's not so hard. If there was a little more funding for certain things... Well, <laughs> it, that, I understand how that can be kind of punchy in the face yeah, sometimes. But, but, no, um, oh, but no, everything you said is right. But do what you love with people you love. Yes. That's, that's what I... And honestly, I'm very fortunate that my, my family, my wife and child, and my in-laws very much let me take over the kitchen, let me have room six to, to, to make these videos for you people, and give artists like Quinn a chance to, you know, show you who he is off stage and also who he is away from, you know, stage lights and the, the PA system and, and the everybody talking and the casino noise and all that. So stick around, you're going to get, I think, five or six songs that are just Quinn Turner, no, no distractions, uh, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, Joshua. Yep. And uh, we'll see you upstairs in room six. Uh, temporarily say goodbye. Bye. This is Sweet Mary Jane. Go to our fancy Please try not to stay Rap with paparazzi Debutante affair Sunglasses in the night time We made quite the pair Sweet Mary Jane Roses in the garden She is one with them Takes me to a palace Will she let me in? I know that she sees through me But I've no reason to pretend Yeah Jane, my Cherie, Belle Nuit, C'est soi, c'est la vie, Sweet Mary Jane, what you wanna do, Sweet Mary Jane, let's break a couple rules, Sweet Mary Jane, I will empathize Sweet Mary Jane More than just tonight Sweet Mary Jane
Mary Jane This song is called Heartbreak Heaven. He watched her crying by the closet door. Curled up tight and shaking, she could bear it no more. So he threw her a towel One last night remarking Then he took his bath Now she lies in silence Waiting for him While he's in heartbreak heaven she cries in darkness Waiting for him While he's in heartbreak heaven She's got it clean There's nothing left While he's in heartbreak heaven He thinks he's gone With no regrets But there ain't no heartbreak heaven Heaven. Now he's living free, copacetic it seems Out on the town he doesn't feel a thing And she's still distraught to be deprived of him But it won't be long till she can do him And she lies in silence Waiting for him While he's in heartbreak heaven She cries in darkness Waiting for him While he's in heartbreak heaven She's got it clean there's nothing left While he's in heartbreak heaven He thinks he's gone With no regrets But there ain't no heartbreak heaven His conscience wakes And the glamour is gone And she begins to see She was played all along He falls to his knees, beating on her door She won't take him back, her trust can't be restored Now I lie in silence, waiting for you Am I in heartbreak heaven? I cry in darkness Waiting for you Am I in heartbreak heaven? I'm got it clean There's nothing left Am I in heartbreak heaven? I thought I was gone With no regrets But there ain't no heartbreak heaven No, there ain't no heartbreak heaven Yeah, there ain't no heartbreak heaven No, there ain't no heartbreak heaven This is called Behind My Eyes Bring 
it's overdriven But you get me hypnotized My issues interfering But you make them all subside Somehow you understand it You reach inside my mind Every memory you examine You remedy me when I'm blind A common heartache was both yours and mine A cosmic magnet brings our souls to bind And you handle all my crazy You see what's deep inside you cut straight through me, baby You get behind my eyes We've got this strong connection Eclectic and divine You serve as my protection From far behind my eyes This world no longer faded Full spectrum burning bright Sometimes we're over jaded But always us fiends love fight You get what's this I made of You have that witchy way Transgressions you're not scared of You're drenched in empathy Across constellations Where our hearts are unified High aspirations But our spirits never die And you handle all my crazy You see what's deep inside You cut straight through me, baby You get behind my We've got this strong connection Eclectic and divine You serve as my protection From far behind my eye Your resonance within me It's where your cure is at You doctor demons in me Sanctified behind my eyes you handle all my crazy You see what's deep inside You cut straight through me, baby You get behind my eye We've got this strong connection Eclectic and divine You serve as my protection From far behind my eye you offer sweet protection from deep behind my eyes. This song is called With a Little Patience. Walking hand in hand It seems so nice But it's not just you and I Who feels this angst tonight It's not complicated And now you can't see Why you feel like a million bucks When you're standing far from me But that's okay now I see it too So we should just take our time And let our truth come true With a little patience In a little time You'll get yours someday And I'll get mine With a little patience We will all be free Everyone we know will sing in 
harmony with a little patience. With a little patience Whatever comes to us We'll get it right Everything always falls in place But not always tonight Like a maiden waiting for his ship to shore or a book that preaches so much wise and moral law With a little patience In a little time You'll get yours someday And I'll get mine With a little patience We will all be free Everyone we know will sing in harmony With a little patience With a little patience Just the right people in just the right place our hearts will lead us there, we won't be late Just the right rhythm and just the right rap We'll always be right there, right on time With a little patience in a little time You'll get yours someday and I'll get mine With a little patience we will all be free And everyone we know will sing in harmony With a little patience With a little patience With a little patience With a little patience This is called, I Love You, You Love Me. No more worries, no more fears, no one elected in ambitions here. No more crying, no more tears. The sun is shining and our heads are clear And I, 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 I love you And you, ooh, 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 love me No more hatred, no more shame we're all together and we're all the same No more anger, no more pain We join our hands and make a loving train And I, 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 I love you And now we're laughing, and now we sing, and now we're dancing with our hearts in sync. 
And you know me And I know you Makes no difference what's a point of view Cause now we're one Just having fun Unification is our kingdom come And I, 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 I Love you And you, oh, oh, oh Love me And now we're free So free This song is called Charlestown Oven. A southern band so day, a hot, humid summer night. She calls right out to me, just come along and see. I feel that sticky fog. Outside the concert hall I hear that southern draw Don't bother me at all I take a licking and a loving A rubbing and a dubbing In a Charlestown oven I get a kissing and a hugging And a squeezing on a muffin In a Charlestown oven, yeah Uh-huh All right We agree to take it slow I never want to let her go I feel her breath on me Her eyes in endless sea A warm breeze blows through the trees Each kiss a welcome tease She brings me to my knees the way she loves so patiently I take a licking and a loving A rubbing and a dubbing In a Charlestown oven I get a kissing and a hugging And a squeezing on a muffin In a Charlestown oven, yeah Uh-huh Oh yeah All right She moves so free and fine Our hearts beat right in time I take a licking and a loving A rubbing and a dubbing In a Charlestown oven I get a kissing and a hugging And a squeezing on a muffin In a Charlestown oven, yeah Uh-huh Oh yeah all right I take a licking and a loving A rubbing and a dubbing And a squeezing on a muffin In a Charlestown oven I want to thank Quinn Turner for coming on the show. It was a great interview and a great performance. If you'd like to be on the show, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or social media link down there, and that's, there's plenty of ways to get a hold of me. There's also ways you can support the channel, like I mentioned in the interview. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really mean it make a difference, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Uh, of course, all sorts of ways to find out more about Quinn Turner are in the description. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> That's it.